Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and for this Sunday upload I'll be doing quick unboxings and overviews of the Nexus 6P and the Nexus 5X. So first let's start with the 5X since that's the one I'm more anxious in checking out real quick. If you guys remember my Nexus 5 review, I actually really did enjoy the Nexus 5 from LG so it's nice to see that LG is also the manufacturer of the 5X. So here we are with the top off. This tells us a little bit about the device. So we do have NFC, of course. There is a fingerprint reader on the back. More details in my full review. Whenever that might be, I do have a bit of a backlog right now. Here we have the wall charger. Next to do have the USB cable. So this is a USB type C device. This is my first time taking a look at that. So will be kind of interesting to take a look at. Not really sure how I'll be plugging this into my computer because I don't have any USB Type-C ports, so I may have to go find an adapter or something like that. And here is the 5X itself. Let's just leave that right there for now. Try Google Play Music for 90 days on us. That's kind of nice. I may check that out even though I'm quite a loyal Spotify user. Here we have the SIM eject tool and we do have some literature to take a look at. So here we do have the safety plus warranty guide. There you go. And I believe that's it for the packaging. I'm gonna destroy this box to make sure there's nothing else here. Doesn't look like there is, so I'll just leave everything alone. And back to the 5X for a moment. Just get some stuff out of the way. Here it is, let's go ahead and take this wrapping off. And here is the 5X. Looks very nice upon first taking a look at it. Let me just take the IMEI label off. If it won't get off of me. All right, so here we have the fingerprint reader on the back. It is not a button. You just put your finger on it and your fingerprint will be red. On the back we have our LED flash, a dual stage flash. We have a camera, laser guided autofocus system. On the bottom, we have the USB Type-C connector, bottom mic, the 3.5mm headset jack. Nothing on the left side except for the uh, SIM card tray. Nothing at the top but a microphone pinhole. And on the left is our power button and volume rocker. I kind of like how the volume rocker is in the middle rather than above the power button. But we'll have to see how that actually is in use. The back cover does not come off, which is a bit disappointing, so there's no removable battery. And it's still disappointing that they weren't able to add a micro SD card slot to this, considering if you add a SIM card slot, what's wrong with putting an SD card slot right next to it? So that is the 5X. Definitely looks quite a bit and feels sort of similar to the Nexus 5 from a few years ago, which I Again, I did like, so I'll just leave this off to the side for now. And that is the Nexus 5X. So now let's move on to the 6P. And here it is. This is a Huawei device. Looks like this label here doesn't want to slide off like it did for the 5X. So we're gonna have to take that off and lift the top off. And it looks like I did it the wrong way around. Let's try it again. So lift the top off. Here we have the little front cover again. So again, this does have NFC. It has a fingerprint reader on the back. It is a USB Type-C device. Here we have the USB Type-C cable. Black this time. And here we have the wall charger. Just taking a look at the Output real quick just to see if it happens to be a fast charger Output 5 volts 3 amps, so it is a faster charger Here is the 6p itself get to the other stuff first pretty similar packaging and uh, Features on the inside so try Google Google play on us for 90 days and here we have Oh, what's this the 5x does not have this so this is a USB type C to a regular USB converter So that's nice to have and back to here, we have, of course, a SIM tray eject tool. And here we have the safety plus warranty guide. And let me take the plastic off the Nexus 6P. And this definitely feels like a more premium device immediately because it is a metal body, whereas the 5X is sort of plastic throughout. Here we have the fingerprint reader on the back. Here we have the camera section on the back as well. Here is the front. Of course, we do have dual front-facing speakers. 
power button is above the volume rocker. The power button is a bit textured. Probably can't see that on my video, but this is a great looking device up close. I really like this. So having not actually turned either one on yet, I can't really say for sure if these are worth it just yet, but I will be doing my full reviews of these. And again, I am a bit behind on reviews, so it may be quite a while before I could actually get those out. But those were my unboxings and quick overviews of the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave everything down below in the comments area. But that is it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.